Today is a Saturday and you might be thinking, Mahal, what are you doing vlogging on a Saturday? Well, I'm actually going to go to the library. Yeah, so the George Green Library on University Park Campus. I'm actually going to go there because I need to get some work done and I just realised to myself, two months until exams. Only two months. So we're almost two months into uni and then literally another two months and then we're going to be sitting January exams. We're just crazy and it really means that I need to start get, uh, get started on not only catching up on missed bits but also just reconsolidating everything and making sure I'm ready to uh, go into future lectures as well as hopefully for exams as well. I need to see if also that I'm ready to do bits of coursework like group projects to do my part and so I thought you know what I'm not going to get it done here where you know there's a lot going on I'm going to have to actually go to a library go to a proper space that I don't recognize as like a play area and just really get things done so I need to walk over to Jubilee campus first so I can get a hopper bus to University Park and then I'm dressed in gym gear right now because my plan is to literally just go to library do some hours of work and then get a hopper to the gym and then back here again and then that's my entire day so this vlog is basically just going to be showing you maybe a study with me however I'm going to show you a bit around University Park campus as well because I know the uni itself hasn't really done a great job in doing that to show you what campus looks like so I guess join me for the vlog being totally honest it's actually in the afternoon it's like 2 something I woke up really late so you might be wondering that's not really a good start but I think I'm going to be in the library until 7 or 8 depending on when the buses end and then obviously go to the gym and then come back but provided that I get to the actual library for like 3.30 because I do need to eat lunch first that's at least 4 hours well let's say 7.30 is mid ground that's 4 hours of work and especially if I concentrate I don't know if I will concentrate but you can only go and see really um, you might be asking if I'm going to Jubilee Library, why am I not going to the Jubilee Library? Well, if I'm going to Jubilee Campus, why am I not going to the Jubilee Library? In my opinion, it's a bit crap. Especially compared to George Green, because George Green has loads of group spaces and it's just bigger. And Jubilee literally only has three group rooms, I think it was. And they're very hot and they're very, I don't know, they're just not nice, in my opinion. So guys, you might be wondering, because I'm a digital ambassador for the uni, I have to say everything positive. I have to keep the positive uh, thoughts about uni. That's not necessarily true. Like I said, I like the uni, but if I don't like something, I am allowed to say it. So that's one thing. I don't like Ju uh, the Geelong, Geelong, I don't even know how to say it. Jubilee Library. It's like the Jungle Library or whatever. But I don't like it. So that's why I go to George Green. And obviously there's Hallwood. But George Green is much better. So a bit of a problem, um, if you take a look here. Then you can see that the buses end quite early. So that means I'm either going to have to get an Uber back or a Nottingham bus, but kind of ruins the plan. arrive on campus and low-key I'm annoyed 
So University Park has a food court in the Portland building and it turns out it's only open Monday to Friday. So I was going to get some food from there, some nice jollof rice from item 7 which is some, uh, well obviously they sell jollof rice, not things, but it's closed. I'm annoyed, but I've just arrived at George Green Library as you can see. Pretty weird looking building to be honest. But we're here, we're ready to work and I'm meeting someone in here actually it's because um, he's in the flat below me and he does a different course so I don't really get distracted. We just do our own thing but we booked out a room. What do we have here? We have a hard-working mechanical engineering student Stop. who's played magic radio. <laughs> but yeah, that's who I was talking about. Uh, he's just in the flat below me and we, this is the second time we're doing this, but I think we're going to do this more often because exam's in two months, so we need to actually be serious about it. So this uh, study trip, basically, was quite spontaneous and I don't recommend doing a spontaneous trip. I mean, studying something is better than nothing but when I say something <laughs> that's my problem because because this trip is so spontaneous I haven't actually planned what I need to do I just know I need to do a lot so now I'm gonna have to spend about 10 minutes just thinking to myself what do I actually need to do and how long will it take and which order to do it in on screen here I have a there's a BP scholarship uh, program uh, which University of Nottingham first years can apply for and I need to actually uh, go for that because obviously if I do get it, obviously it's really competitive but let's say I do get it and I won't get it unless I apply then I can get £3,000 per year from year two as long as I get a 2-1 which is the goal anyways so if I'm going to try and go for a 2-1 I might as well try and go for this BP scholarship as well because let's say I get it I'll get £3,000 per year for getting something for just doing something that I was already going to do anyways Studying is quite tough um, but hopefully in the end it will just pay off So basically it's just turned 5 o'clock and I'm kind of whispering because Brandon here is on the phone but um, I've yeah. been here for about 2-3 hours now <laughs> I lie, 2 hours, it won't be 3 hours um, Got some things done, sent a few emails off, uh, looked into different like graduate programs, made a few notes 
Brandon here got a test done and then I think he's just on the phone after doing that test. And then now I'm going to, so the room I'm actually in is uh, in George Green Library, but it's also a seminar room. So you can see it's got massive and it's actually got um, a screen and the monitor and the microphone for delivering a seminar uh, should a lecturer want to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm going to use that facility, so the, the screen, to play a lecture that I missed. I can't control it. Le lectures will be missed at uni. I'm not the perfect student, but again, I will be missing le some lectures for one reason or another. So I just need to play this lecture and basically just make notes as I go along. Luckily, more lecturers at the business school have started to record. I remember in one of my previous vlogs, I expressed my frustration that only one lecturer was recording. But ever since, I don't know, I think they updated the lecturer recording system. Ever since that happened, more lecturers have been recording and it's just amazing because, again, even in the situation that I do miss a lecture, I can actually hear the lecturers speak. I don't have to go based solely on um, lecturer PowerPoint slides because for example let's say this PowerPoint slide asks a question like a discussion question they never usually have the answer to it and then obviously because I'm not there in a the discussion or let's say I even turn up and I can't remember it afterwards when I revisit then not much I can do about it whereas where a lecture is recorded I can so take a look you can see this lecture uh, is on Product Development and Process Technology is a Managing Operations in a Digital Environment lecture and I know it says lecture 5, I did miss this lecture, I went to 6 but uh, missed 5 which is a bit strange considering you think I would catch up before I go to my next lecture um, but it's better than never so I guess that's what I'm going to be doing and then because of the hopper bus situation and because I need to make it, make it to the gym because uh, David Ross Sports Village closed at 10. I think I'll be leaving after having done this lecture. But I might, depending on how I'm feeling, after gym, continue back at St. Peter's Court, which is where I stay. I might. Just had to take a moment to pause real quickly because if you look at this, so this is a lecture plan. And if I go up closer to the screen, then this is where we started. So the introduction on the 1st of October. And then you go down, go down to October, go down to November. We are going to be here on Monday. No, we're going to be here rather, on the 12th. And then you can see after, so one lecture, two lectures, seminar, three lectures, four lectures. And then it's the last lecture of term, which is revision. Um, so we're going into week eight and then revision is in week 12. And let me tell you, when it says revision, that means exams are coming. And that is why I decided, you know what? Uni life is new, it's nice, settling in, doing fun things, but it genuinely is time to start being serious. And hopefully I can manage to get a two one minimum. Um, at first is pushing it, I think. But two one, definitely doable, definitely achievable. However, the work needs to start now. I can't just leave it till the Christmas holiday. I know it's a whole month, but chances are I won't be working the entire Christmas holiday because there'll be days where I'll just sit there and play FIFA. It's the honest truth. Um, but there's good, a lot of Saturdays are going to be like this and even in just the, during the weekdays, I need to come to this library more often, especially if this room is available. This room is amazing because again, I'm being able to watch my lecture on a massive screen Whereas I wouldn't be able to do that back at my accommodation. And it really just helps because on one on this massive screen I can have my lecture and then I have my laptop free to um, type rather than having to switch in between windows and pausing and whatnot. But um, pressure is on. I know I'm a study tuber, I hate that term. But we, like I said in a previous vlog, we study tubers can't get it right all the time. However, we can at least try. Of this new product, product and service into actual use. This is actually how 
innovation differs from invention, right? So innovation should be something customers want and need. So inventions, there are a lot of inventions that do not have any financial value, right? Okay. And it is really important on how do we measure new product and new service development performance. So the performance is defined as the extent to which a new product meets the financial market goals at the time of introduction. So I've decided that, um, well, it's 6.06. .06. I didn't get through the entire lecture, but I've decided that because I haven't eaten all day, like I've had nothing. Literally, all I've had is a bit of water. I'm going to go and uh, eat. So there's a place called Mooch on campus. Hello, everybody. Child on me here. Guess where I am? I'm in Mooch. It's the coolest place in town. Mooch, Mooch, Mooch. Everyone get down to Mooch. It's where the best Mooch is at. Mooch. Seems to be very popular, I don't know why, but it's the only thing that's open on campus without me uh, going and on delivery or Uber Eats and ordering something. Uh, so I'm going to give that a go, see what the hype is about, and then I'm going to go to a gym on David Ross, and then chances are that we'll have to get a uh, Nottingham City uh, bus back to accommodation. And then once I'm back, if I am feeling it, then I will finish this um, lecture. But I'd, overall, I'd say that for the few hours that we were here, I was actually productive, I got things done that I needed to do and hopefully I can keep this up, not just a, a two off, well I did it yesterday, did it today, hopefully it's not just a two off, I just used the word one off actually, uh, hopefully I can keep this up because if I do then come January I should be ready and I should definitely be in a position to get a two one minimum uh, because saying I want a two one and actually putting the work in to get one, or well, get two one, uh, two completely different things so hopefully I can keep this up campus is literally a bit of a ghost town right now I mean understandable because it is a Saturday but that doesn't change the fact that it actually does look quite nice because over there that is Hallwood Library the one with the lights and now we are on the Geelong I don't even know how to say his name we're on a terrace and I don't know why it's not focusing can't focus. But why is it changed manual? But as you can see, this is a Portland building. You got Trent over there, and this is what Portland actually looks like at night time. Well, it's not even night time. It's 6:30, but no one around really. And Mooch is actually located inside of. The Portland building, so you have to go downstairs into Portland. I'm honestly looking forward to it. I don't know why it's hyped up so much, but looking forward to it. I get 10% uh, student union staff discount. My camera died, which means I have to vlog on my phone, but how do you even pronounce that? Genog the Genogli the Terrace. I forgot his name, so it made it harder, but the Genogli Terrace apparently is how you say it. Um, but I'm here with Brandon still, and we're just going to check out Mooch and see what it's saying. And then after I get some food down me, because I've got a bit of a headache from not eating, I probably have to go around the side. Um, then we're gonna, I'm gonna go David Ross. Brandon's gonna go back home, and then obviously, like I said, going to go back to my accommodation. Hopefully, finish that lecture. I need to motivate myself too. And then I guess that is it for my day until tomorrow, which is a Sunday, where there's no hopper buses running, so I could come. It makes it difficult to come to main campus, but it's a possibility. Obviously, we want to go for a burger, but and I think the despicable meat option, eight pound thirty, including chips, is the one minus the bacon. Um, but tooth beef patties with cheese, barbecue sauce, mayo, leaves, minus tomato as well, red onion, gherkins. I think that is saying quite a lot. Uh, Brand has just gone off again with the menu. I don't know what he's going to get, but 10% discount actually makes it quite cheap. So 
it'll go to about seven pounds something for a double burger and chips, which, well, if the food is good, then that's really good. So my order, as you see, despicable meat burger, served with chips, no bacon, no tomato, and well, genuinely hoping this is going to be good because of the money I spent on it. It was seven pounds something, I can't remember. Um, but this is, a, this is a bar, it's a pub, but it's a burger bar apparently. It smells like Weatherspoons, like it genuinely stinks like Weatherspoons, but that must be just the alcohol smell. Uh, nice decor though. Mooch, don't let me down. So this is brand new burger. Looks alright. I don't know how he finds it. Well, he's going to have to go and get some ketchup. But, um, looks alright. Then this is mine, so we've got chips on the side. And then this is a double patty burger. No bacon, no tomato. It's all good. Um, yeah, no tomato, that's good. The bun makes this... I don't know, I've never seen a bun like this. Focuses. Which you don't. I'll give you a taste verdict after. I gotta say, that was a very filling burger. Um, it was quite decent, like for the price, especially well, especially with discount. Uh, it was very decent. I wasn't really a fan of the bun too much, but the burger of themselves, like the patty, was very thick and very filling. Like I am feeling very full. Considering earlier that I had basically a little headache because I hadn't eaten anything, and now after one meal I'm feeling really full. It's really good. And you see, I've done a bit of uh, salad. I ate everything. I ate the chips, which were okay. Chips, mm, they're all right. Nothing special. But then burger, I think was pretty decent. Good on you, Mooch. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I'm actually going to the gym still after that meal because I feel so full. But I have to walk anyways to David Ross because the last top of bus was about 20 minutes ago, which is a bit bad. Like, why does hot, why is the last hopper bus at like 6.40 on a Saturday? Why can't it be later? So I have to walk to uh, David Ross, which is about a 10 minute walk. But it is freezing. I don't really want to do this walk, but I have to. And to make things worse, I have to get a bus back to where my accommodation after. But that bus does not go near my accommodation. I still have to, for some reason, walk 15 minutes from the bus stop. Uh, what's the point? Um, so I'm going to try and think of a solution, but not going gym is not an option, to be honest. I need to go. I haven't been in the last two days, I think it is, for different reasons, but I can't take another day off. That just can't happen, uh, especially after eating a burger. I know it's the only thing I've eaten today. Probably will be the only thing I eat today. Try and keep, because um, that meal was probably about 1,300 calories, 1,400 calories. Maybe eat one more little thing and then try and keep a calorie deficit. I know I'm not going to get my micronutrients that I would from a nice nutritious meal but at the end of the day calories in calories out for fat loss um, and then when I get back I do need to finish that lecture like I said but I'm definitely coming to university part more often I don't know why I can't even see anything I don't know why I genuinely cannot see anything um, I'm going to stop here I don't know why I don't come here more often because Mooch, George Green, David Ross, they're all great things. back in my accommodation for some reason instead of getting a bus I decided to um, walk from David Ross all the way to my accommodation that took about 35 40 minutes um, in fact I say some reason when the bus does because like I said the bus literally stops at what the other end of Jubilee 
so it doesn't even go near my accommodation. I would have had to walk 20 minutes anyways if I um, didn't, uh, if I did get the bus. So I thought, you know what, I might as well just walk the whole thing, save myself a bit of money, get a bit of exercise, or extra because obviously it was after gym. But um, that basically takes you through a day in a life on a Saturday. I wouldn't usually go to library, but it's something I'm gonna have to start doing now. So it's taking you through what's going to be my usual daily life on a Saturday, other than if I usually do go out on a Saturday because my flatmates actually offered. They were literally I walked in and they were like, "Ah, oh, hell, do you want to go out tonight?" And I was like, "You know what? I'm actually gonna stay here, edit this vlog, and also finish my lecture notes." Like I said, I would be a good guy uh, instead of going out because I really am trying to fix up. Of course, going out is nice, but I want to get my work done as well, so I can try and get a two-one. But if you did enjoy this uni vlog, then make sure to leave a like, comment below, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's at MihelX on Twitter, at MihelKhan on Instagram, and official MihelKhan on Facebook. Let me know what other content you want to see from me. Just let me know in the comments below. This has been Mihel, and I hope you. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.